Holmes Worm Hat. Somebody actually posted this photo on the left here to the Transvestigation subreddit on vote. So figured I'd make a video about this event. It seems like it's going to be a pretty big thing in the news, at least for a couple days. You know, these days, stories come in and out and get forgotten and replaced by new things so quickly. But it seems like alt-right people, or at least the alt-right shills, are hailing this person as some sort of hero, you know, defending themselves, allegedly. And we know better than that. And people in the comments even knew better than that. But it's the same thing that it's ever been. People that are calling it out in the comments just get mass downvoted and people screeching at them about, I don't know, they, they have to have you believe. When you don't believe in their nonsense, it makes them go crazy. But anyways, I thought it was hilarious just that somebody posted this to the Transvestigation subreddit. Definitely. <laughs> and I think it's just a totally fake persona. This person's Facebook page was just nothing but this Blue Lives Matter thing. And that's not how real people are. Real people don't just have nothing but one cause on their Facebook. They're going to have more to it than that. They would have more than just, like, ten images all with this Blue Lives Matter thing. That's what their Facebook was like. So it was just... Somebody probably made up that Facebook account in, like, one day. Anyways, this person's name just doesn't sound real at all. Rittenhouse? Have you ever known anybody with the last name Rittenhouse? And a lot of times they just completely make up crazy last names for their characters in these things. And the numbers here, it's 55. Satan is 55 in Pythagorean. And there's another satanic connection later. I thought this image was kind of funny with the goof off. Got the look, for sure. And here we see this person with orange. I still don't hear enough people calling out the orange. Orange is the only color that's 33. If you're calling out 33, you should be calling out orange. Because so often, this bright orange color is a part of their psyops. Bright orange. I always think back to, you know, the 9-11 conspiracy. People love bringing up the... Super Tramp album with the glass of orange juice, the waitress holding the orange juice above the Twin Towers. Orange is just one of those things when you wake up and you start paying attention to it. It's one of the most obvious things. So I still don't see enough people that mention the orange. That's part of the reason I'm doing this video is just because it's like, of course, with the orange. 666 hand sign right there. Looks like a 13 year old, 14 year old girl, that's what it looks like. Allegedly 17 years old. Here you go though, see this is what I'm talking about with the Facebook. Whose Facebook is like nothing but these blue lives matter things? It's like not a real Facebook. So I'm not sure exactly what this is. This is, I don't know, some court document. But, so one thing, the date of birth of this person has a 33 in it. The date of birth is January 3rd, 2003, so that's a 33. And then the other thing down here, the warrant, if you read the warrant number, 2, 6 is 8, plus 1 is 9, plus 6 is 15, plus 9 is 24, plus 4 is 28, and then of course we have a 5 for a 33. Kyle Rittenhouse, they're allegedly 17 years old, charged with shooting three people, two of them fatally. Two out of three is 0.66666 repeating. And you'll eventually see how newspapers like to write about things. They'll, they don't like to straight out come and say that things are happening they'll most often throw in words like allegedly or according to videos, interviews, and social media posts. They're passing the responsibility to other people. Well, according to these videos, such and such happened. It's this Talmudic logic. They think that that, that takes away any of their blame. Well, we didn't say it happened. We just said according to these videos that happened. You'll just see them always talking like this in the news. So, 
Another thing that I constantly see with this type of event, what do you know, the person who ends up being a lead character, it's like they'll go back in time. Oh, a few hours before they were seen on video talking to, to cops. They were seen on video. This Rittenhouse character was seen on video multiple times before the alleged event happens. How, how does that happen all the time? I don't, I don't remember exactly, but there was very recently, I remember doing a video on some event like this and I was like, what are the chances that that guy ended up being videotaped earlier in the day? And what do you know? Here's another example where he was videotaped multiple times earlier in the day. So I don't want to, I really don't want to read everything. There's a lot of, a lot of news articles coming out recently about this. And this seems like a story that'll be around for at least a few days. So what do you know? They're shown in another video clip. They're shown earlier getting bottles of water from law enforcement. Thanks. He thanks from their, he thanks them for their help. So here it is. It was right next to a Montessori school and that's just a pyramid. Looks like a pyramid with an eye in it. No blood. Part of the event has a skateboard involved with it. This this person on the ground right here allegedly went and attacked the person with the with the AR-15 with the skateboard, which, yeah, that doesn't really seem believable that people are going to run, run at somebody with a rifle with nothing but a skateboard. But they're just actors. Skateboard is 33. I thought it was interesting that one of the one of the people they were interviewing was named Elijah and paint this person out to be this crazed lone wolf person. I just thought it's weird that they always divulge information like this. Like they, they want to go out of their way to give information. Like one of them was shot in the head in the main article. I just, I never understood why they try to give so much gory detail about stuff. And I think that this goes into day-to-day -day life, too. Have you noticed that if people say something like, oh, my dad died, or, you know, even it can even be stuff like my dad killed, killed himself, the very first thing that people want to know, they're like, well, how did they do it? Have you noticed that that's like a way that people act? And too much information. Why, why do we need to know that one was shot in the head, allegedly, the other shot in the chest? I think it's very similar to the way that a lot of normal people always say, why do you even give out the names of the shooters? Why do you, why do people know the middle name of John Wayne Gacy? Like they're these celebrities. So here's a, a strange thing. Directly following the second shooting, a group of police vehicles advances on the crowd. Rittenhouse walks toward them and can be seen alternately putting his hands up and touching his gun. As he approaches, the vehicles drive away, and Rittenhouse gives them a slight wave. It's almost like the cops are in on it. Another person is seen walking away from an injured protester on the ground, talking on a cell phone. Excuse the trash truck. Here, we'll just check out this image. Rittenhouse participated in a program for youths interested in law enforcement. So in this image, I wanted to show how they, this is a, another news article about it. Just look at how they write the article. Social media videos captured a young man armed with a rifle as he apparently shot and killed at least two people overnight. So... This is just something that I always see now, and it's always like, oh, it appears to. This is just something that you can't really get over. The gunman opened fires on a crowded street and then walks past police responding to the scene without being taken into custody. Beth declined to speculate on exactly why police might have let the shooter go when approached them with his hands up, but said officers might have been focused on other matters because of everything going on in the area at the time. And this is just one of those weird things where they'll say something and then they, they, 
They are a hypocrite. They don't do what they say. Beth declined to speculate on exactly why police might have let the shooter go, but then what do they do? They speculate. They give a speculation. But they said that officers might have... Do you see that? They're like, well, I'm not going to speculate, but then they give a speculation. The man appears to fire as many as four shots. So again, they're really careful with the way that they say things. The man appears to fire as many as four shots. They're probably just blanks. So this was just more article talking about the strange event of... Here, just this part. A separate video appears to show the gunman interacting with the... Oh, wait. No, it was up here. This part, someone in the crowd. Someone in the crowd shouted to police that the gunman had just shot someone, but several police cars drove past him toward the people who had been shot. So, I don't know. I haven't watched all these videos. I don't care. You know, when at a certain point, it's like when you know it's all fake, you don't invest that much energy into these stories because you know it's a bunch of BS. I already showed you, by the time I find my second 33, you know, I have no investment in the story anymore. I know it's just a story. More orange. This is the person that allegedly got their arm shot. So I'll say this. I did see the images of this person's arm getting shot off, allegedly, and it's just... It's makeup. It's special effects, effects makeup. I'm not going to show the images, but just look at the upper part of the arm. And it's so obviously like, like they're wearing a sleeve. It's so much thicker than what their arm is supposed to be. And you can see that uh, a person's normal arm can fit underneath what they show being the gore. And it's, it's this pretty intense, gory looking wound, but it's like not bleeding. If you had, if your arm was like shot off like this person's arm allegedly was, it would still be like gushing blood out. But there's a bunch of, there's photos of it just like a gaping wound and <clears throat> and it's not bleeding. Anyways, look at that Baphomet star. So Satan is the father of all liars. These people are liars. Baphomet worshippers, they're liars. And look at the orange. Where's the gory blood in the scene? And this person started getting downvoted just for saying that. So let's look at let's look at what's going on. This guy comes and drop kicks, but then kind of runs away. Here's skateboard person. Skateboard is 33. Skateboard person, they have a tumble. Here, here skateboard person is allegedly shot. Still no blood. Here we see the orange. We got the orange flag. Coming up to somebody with a rifle who just shot somebody. Here, skateboarders falling down to the ground. Skateboarder's on the ground. And so, look, the guy's gone. So a lot has happened. Orange orange guy is now kind of left the scene. But it looks still no blood. And people pointed out the nose. People were like, look at that guy's nose propping him up like a tripod. <laughs> Where's the gory blood? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe you, you've heard about this, maybe not. I don't know how big it's going to be, but I've I've just seen a lot of people pushing it, a lot of shills pushing this as, like, they want to push this as, oh, good job, good job, guy, defending yourself with your gun. They just want you to think that, that civilians are able to just gun one, a down, gun one another down in the streets. They want to push false narratives like that. They want you to think that people are capable of acting like this. And who knows, maybe maybe one day it will. Maybe this is a way of predictive programming. When things really hit the fan, this is probably what they want happening. God bless everyone.